Okay, so this one is really interesting. Um, and I, got a, I get a lot of questions on my YouTube videos about it because it's so, it's so weird looking. So yeah. this is an RS Guitar Works uh, Twisted Strat. So if you know me, I'm a huge Hendrix fanatic. I've, I've been a Hendrix fanatic since you know, I was a kid. Um, so there was a time where I was buying left-handed guitars just for the vibe. You know, it's not and, just yeah. the, the, the string tension and the tone, but for me, like I said, it's a vibe thing. Sure. So a left-handed guitar definitely has this vibe that it invokes that Hendrix feel. And um, if you've ever played an upside down guitar, especially an upside down Strat, one of the biggest problems or bummers is having the controls right. up here, as well as like the output jack. So when you're playing, it's really oh, awkward. So awkward. So what the guys at RS Guitar Works have done has, they've solved it. So they've kept the vibe of an upside down Strat, but made it more comfortable. So they've actually put a forearm contour where it would normally go on a regular Strat. Right. And then they've moved all the controls to the bottom. I love that. And adjusted the pick guard accordingly and everything. So the pickups are still flipped. The, the, the trim is flipped. Headstock is flipped. But it's comfortable to play. And that's huge, man. I think that's the biggest part of it is having that, that yeah. go in the other direction, which to me makes way more sense than the way Right, because it went. makes the high strings mellower and yeah. super brittle. Yeah, so Fender, listen up. <laughs> Jimmy but, had it right. So this one is actually the, uh, I was talking about my Sen neck profile, which yeah. I love. This is the guitar that has the exact same oh, great. neck profile. And it's a little bit of flame, too. I yeah. Know if you can oh, see yeah, it. beautiful. But... Um, yeah, this is an interesting guitar. I've also put the, uh, the Hendrix gauges on this, so which is a 10 to 38. Ooh. So a 38 on the low E string, wow. which is also tuned down to E flat. So it's super, super slinky. Wow. Um, but yeah, if you want me to plug it in. Yeah, let's hear this thing. So... Let's hear that slinkiness on yeah. there. Yeah. You can really hear that slinkiness. Right. And the um, the third string is super slinky. I forget what this is. This might be like a, a 15 or something. Super wow. light. Is that a big adjustment for your playing when you when you pick that up? The, the string gauges. Yeah. Yes. Not, yeah. not a huge adjustment. I imagine when you hit that. I mean, hit that low E, it's going to just yeah. you definitely have flub to, out. Yeah. You, know? you definitely have to adjust your playing a little bit, yeah. but part of the magic of having that thin string is that f flub or that yeah. slinkiness that you yeah. can actually right. hear it. Yeah. God, that sounds great. So, yeah, this is... Uh, one of my, like I have two Hendrixy guitars, this one, and then I have an actual left-handed Strat, uh, Fender Strat. But this is definitely a, a vibe for sure. So is this, this is their model, right? Yes, this is, you can order yeah. the Twisted model. Okay. They do, uh, you know, the big 70s headstock, maple board. I wanted an early 60s Hendrix vibe, so that's why I yeah. went with Sunburst, Rosewood board, small headstock. Oh, I so, love it, man. Yeah, check them out. They, they make really awesome guitars. Too. Yeah, so weird, so great. Okay, cool. All right, let's get, let's get, let's keep it weird. Let's go.